on today's video, I'm going to be going over my September polish pickup wish list. Um, I did this last month for the first time and I felt like you guys had a really positive response to it. So I'm going to do another one. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is just talk about the polishes that I have on the wish list for September. If you guys don't know what Polish Pickup is, it's a website where a bunch of um, indie makers make polishes based around a monthly theme. This month's theme for September is horror movies. Um, and the polish pickup is open from the first Friday of the month to the first Sunday of the month. So let me get you the exact dates because it's going to go live this Friday. And then it will be live till this Sunday. Um, that's going to be September 7th through 9th. And um, I'll link the website for the polish pickup down below. It's also really nice because you get to try a lot of different indie maker polishes. But you only pay $3 flat rate shipping in the U.S. So I love that because I like to try a little bit of different brands, but not be paying like, you know, $4 shipping here, $4 shipping there. So this kind of like puts everything all into one spot for you. Um, there's brands on here I've like never heard of. And I really enjoy um, trying different things. So if you guys are into all of that stuff, I would definitely check out the Polish Pickup. Um, so this month's theme was a little bit different for me because I'm not into horror movies. Um, I'm a huge chicken. If you watch my other video, you guys hear me tell you all about what a big chicken I am. So I have not seen a lot of scary movies. Um, I just don't feel like they're like good for my anxiety and good for my mind and stuff like that. Um, so I don't have any like sentimental attachment to any of these, which is probably good because I still and managed to get 12 polishes on my wish list, which is crazy. Um, I'm hoping to whittle that down to like two and three that actually get ordered. So that's going to be a lot of work. Um, cutting down wish lists is like really, really hard especially for me. Um, I sit there and I'm like, oh, especially when it's limited edition. Limited edition just is another level. So um, let me start with the first polish on the wish list. So this is from Baroness X and this is called Crypt Keeper. And this polish is based on that like, um, it was like a puppet type thing. It was a skeleton. It was from the Tales of the Crypt, if you all remember that TV show. And um, the description they have is this eerie green on army fatigue olive base is filled with gold to green blue up sister pigment, piercing blue glass flakies, and pink copper gold green UCC flakies. It's a perfect color for fall. I totally agree with them on that. I think this is perfect for fall. It has a 300 bottle cap. The only thing about this polish that I'm just kind of like ugh, about is it $16 a bottle. Um, I'm sure it's totally worth $16. Maybe the um, up pigment pushed the price up. I've never bought from this brand before. Maybe they're just a little more expensive than what I'm used to. But um, <clears throat> that's a little high for me. So don't think that I'm judging anybody who's going to get it because I'm not. Like you all knock yourself out just getting whatever you want and whatever makes you happy. But for me personally, I did think that was a tiny bit high. Um, you can see here just how it has that amazing color shift. Look at all the different like shades of green it kind of turns which i think is super cool and then here's like another shot a little bit of a macro so you can see like the flakies on it this polish looks amazing it looks gorgeous for fall um but like i say that price just has me a little bit on the fence i'm not totally sure that i can commit to that much for a polish the next polish, when I saw this on the Polish Pickup Pack Facebook page, you guys, I like literally gasped out loud. I have never seen anything like this. I think it's so unique and just such a cool look. So this is from Coloristic Carol and it's called Don't Look Behind You. And this is based on the inspiration Nosferatu or something. I don't know how you pronounce that or what that is, but um, her description is a clear to black thermal polish with Aurora shimmer, red and gold, black and iridescent opal glitter. So you guys, I've told you before, my um, birthday is close to Halloween. So like I love Halloween manis and I love Halloween nail polishes and just anything around Halloween and nails I really love. And I just feel like this is the perfect addition to any kind of like Halloween um, 
type manicure you would want to do like this picture right here in particular has me dying i feel like it looks like she has like zombie nails or like her fingers are like rotting i know that sounds gross but like rotting from the ends down or something it's just a such a cool look for halloween um here's another shot here but i don't have a ton of thermal polishes just because from what i've heard the thermal just doesn't last and once this doesn't change colors anymore like i would be so so sad so i don't know how long they last on average um i have two thermal polishes right now in my whole collection and that's it they're fairly new so they do still work but um man that polish just looks so cool i'm gonna show it to you again look at that picture like i am literally dying over this picture i just feel like i need this in my life like any halloween mani i would ever do would be totally and completely like brought up to another level if i had this polish it's just it's amazing so my sister is actually contemplating her first polish pickup order and this is the polish she wants too she thinks it's so cool i'm probably gonna bite the bullet and get it just because it's like so fun but once like the thermalness of it is gone i'm gonna be very sad so and uh, i think i already told you guys no cap on that polish um and it's 11.50 so that was that one the next one is also an extremely interesting and unique polish to me um this is from dollish polish and this is called he who walks behind the rose and i believe this was based off um yeah children of the corn by stephen king and the description she has on this is a glowing tangerine orange with red green gold color shifting shimmer and loaded with flame red copper and gold chameleon flakies so i do not have anything like this polish in my collection i think it's perfect it like screams fall it screams halloween um it looks like a pumpkin i love this polish um i don't know if this base color would look good on me or not but man it's so so interesting like it's just really 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 pretty let me show you another picture look at that if that doesn't scream halloween to you guys like i don't even know because to me it's just like take me on a hayride and put pumpkins all around me like at the pumpkin patch like that's what this reminds me of i think it's so so pretty not that i go on any hate rides <laughs> but <laughs> that is what it reminds me of there's actually a pumpkin patch it's not here like where i live you have to drive maybe like a couple hours to get to it and people love that thing in the fall like it's always packed um next polish when i saw this on the polish pickup facebook page too i was dying this does not say fall to me it does not say scary movies to me but like i don't even care because it's so so pretty so this is from ethereal lacquer it's called moonlit machete and let me see what this is based on for you guys um this is based on jason Voorhees and his machete glistening under the moonlight um and then it says with a moonlit tanzanite jelly base full of a murderous mix of chameleon iridescent flakies the shift between red copper pink gold and green aurora shimmer and a large particle multi-chrome shimmer and then it says this one is ch 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 amazing i don't know if that's a reference for the movie or what i've never seen that so look at that base color that is the most gorgeous like purple i love that base color and just look at those flakies they totally stand out like this just looks amazing um i don't think there's a cap on this no cap and it's going to be 12.50 so i think this could be a definite must have for me just because i'm in love i think that base color is to die for and then those flakies against that base color is like let me show it to you again that looks gorgeous so that that could be a must have next one so what i like about this polish is they're trying to bring glitter back that's what it seems like to me like remember that song um bringing sexy back they're bringing glitter back and um i'm excited for it i love glitter i love when indies were all about glitter and this kind of reminds me of that time in indies and this is called flirt and cosmetics a night to die for and this is based on prom night there's 75 bottles available and it says glitter polish packed with silver glitter and 
peaks of red hollow glitter. This polish is packed with glitter so may appear a bit thick and is best with a coat of clear polish for a smooth finish. Covers in two to three or two coats if sponged. You guys, look at this. So it's the most gorgeous silver glitter and then there's like little touches of red glitter in there. And they have a good macro shot here. Let me pull that up so you guys can see that. Look how pretty that is. I mean, uh, that on all the nails would be so just blinged out and gorgeous. And then I think, yeah, they show it as a topper. Let me show you this, Manny, they did with it here. So that looks super, super pretty, you guys. I'm totally in for bringing glitter back. Um, So that's definitely a contender. Um, next one is from Nailed It Lacquer, and this is called the Jackal, and this is based on 13 Ghosts. There's a 120 bottle cap on this, and the description says a laven gray, lavender gray, flaky crelly with a strong purple shimmer. The Jackal is packed full of blue, purple, pink UCC flakies, electric blue, and bright pink micro flakies, and accented with a touch of holographic sparkle. The description just sounds amazing, but look at how pretty that looks. That is a gorgeous base color, you guys, and all the flakies just look really, really pretty. There's another shot of it. That looks like a really nice color for fall or spring, um, so I just, I think that's super pretty. That nailed it. Lacquer had another polish I had on my wish list last month that I didn't get, so maybe this will be the month. This polish my sister sent to me like hey did you see this and I had seen it and I did like it and this is from painted polish this is called zombie kill of the week and this is based on Zombieland movie poster and it has a hundred and three um 350 bottle cap and it says a medium gray crelly packed with red gold and copper gold shifting flakies this polish just says fall to me like sweaters and leaves changing colors and boots and just everything about fall that I do like and I do not like fall um kind of reminds me of this polish and then let me show you this one too those flakies just look like when the leaves start changing and they start falling off the trees there's some like really pretty places here in New Mexico where you can go see that and that is what this reminds me of um and then the base color looks really, really pretty. I do not have a ton of gray polish. I have a couple of gray creams. I don't even wear them very often. But for some reason, I'm really, really drawn to this. I think it looks super, super pretty. Um, I picked up another painted polish a couple of months ago for the polish pickup. And the formula was nice. And it was similar to this, like a cream with flakies. So hopefully the formula on this one would also be nice. And the price will be $11.50 on that. I think this is really pretty, so I don't know, I don't know, but it is very, very pretty. Um, Next polish, you guys, so I got Polish for Days polish last month, and I'm actually wearing it right now. If you watched my other video with the polishes I wore for the month of August, you guys saw this. Look at this polish. You guys, look at this polish. It looks like opals on the nail. Um, This is like one of the most gorgeous polishes I think I've worn it in a very, very long time. So I feel like any polish for days that comes out on polish pickup now, like I can't not get. And that's dangerous because it just is. Like I feel like I need to get on this website and just buy everything they have. And I can't do that. But this one is called Cute as a Button. This is based off the movie um, Carol, Cor Coraline, Caroline. Um, description says a blurple base packed with green to purple shifting iridescent flakies and holographic flakies. And then it also says here $1 per bottle sold will be donated to California Wildfire Relief Fund. So I think that's really cool um, that they're using this to raise money for that just because um, I don't know if you guys have any like wildfires where you are, but we do get some here in New Mexico and they're rough. Um, there's been times like where people's houses have burned down um we haven't been able to go to work because of the fires 
it's very um it's very very devastating for the people that are directly affected um and so i'm glad they are raising money for that stuff look at this polish look at that base color look at that shimmer oh you guys i just i don't know let me show you these close-up shots here look at this picture it's like a purple version of what I already have on my nails. And you guys know I love a good purple. So it, this is similar though to the other one I did tell you was kind of a must have. So maybe I need one or the other. Like the polish pickup or um, let me see what that other one was called. Maybe I need either the polished for days or the ethereal lacquer. They are, they are similar. So maybe I need to make a decision there. The next one is from pretty beautiful unlimited and you guys this will be if i order this polish this will be the third month i've ordered a polish from them and i just think they're really killing it i love what they're coming up with i had never heard of this brand before till i started getting polish pickup polishes and the last two polishes i picked up have really good formulas the colors are beautiful and this color is like oh my gosh the most amazing jewel toned turquoise this is called book of the dead and it is based on the mummy 1932 version and there's 250 bottle cap description a royal blue tinted base with holographic flakies multi-chrome pigment that shifts green turquoise blue four different colors of crystal chameleon flakies and more scattered holographic and micro flakies um so they call it a royal blue i consider this to be more of a turquoise but maybe the lighting on the pictures is throwing me off there because to me this is more turquoise but look at that look at that picture like how pretty does that look i think that would look amazing in the fall totally and completely amazing um and then here's like a little close-up macro shot there look at all that sparkle and hollow oh my gosh that just looks so 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 pretty like so pretty so that that's on the wish list um the next one is from scafla nail varnish and it's called the love witch if you guys are on the polish pickup pack facebook page um they had an inspiration picture there and i think this polish totally nailed that i've never seen this movie but um the inspiration picture was like this really pretty lady with like black hair and she was wearing this like pinky peach outfit with like a hat and she had this like pink lipstick I don't know that picture like totally caught my attention and um this polish totally like hit that inspiration in my opinion and this is called um uh, the love witch no no um cap and then it says a glitter curly polish with a soft coral pink cream base glitters of mint green aqua teal and red and finished off with delicate rose peach shimmer so let me show you this Look how pretty that looks. I am so glad that these um, Crelly glitters are coming back because I love them. I just think they're such a cute polish finish and I think that there's so many interesting combinations that can be done with it. Look at that, how pretty. And um, the only thing I'm not sure about this polish is the base color maybe um, like kind of washed me out. But look at that, how pretty. So I don't know really really pretty and I love a curly glitter and then the next one is from Stella Chroma this is called follow the teachings and it is based on to the devil a daughter this does not have a cap and the description says this vibrant berry pink purple polish is heavy on the hollow flake and pink shimmer with a touch of tiny black flakies rich and opaque in two coats finish with your choice of top coat the base color on this you guys is like calling my name look at that purple that is a gorgeous gorgeous purple um and then i could see myself wearing that like in the summer as well because i definitely think that is a summer color but it's also really pretty for fall just because it has that berry tone to it look at that shimmer in that picture oh my gosh that just looks so so pretty like that base color is totally my type of color and then that shimmer that it totally stands off off the nail which i love in a shimmer i hate when you get a polish and you're expecting this like gorgeous shimmer and then there's just nothing there and these pictures definitely show you that it is visible on the nails look at that 
gorgeous. And then there was one more that wasn't available to be put into a wish list yet. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, maybe like they didn't have all the pictures they wanted or something. But I pulled a picture. Um, but I pulled a picture off the Polish Pickup Pack Facebook page to talk about because um, when I started following, when I started reading the blogs of these polishes, this just really stood out. So this is from Rogue Lacquer called Creature from the Black Lagoon, described as a creamy charcoal black with gold green UCC flakies and sapphire hollow glitter with shifting shimmer. Inspired by Creature from the Black Lagoon, $11, no cap. This macro shot is kind of like what really pulled me in. Look how that shimmer of the green and the blue just like pops off that dark base. I think that looks so, so pretty. And then let me show you this full... um manny shot too look at that shimmer you guys it just looks really really beautiful so that's another one i may be considering um so that is everything on my wish list um for not being into horror movies i definitely got a pretty big wish list going um like i told you guys in the beginning i'm hoping to cut this down to like two or three that's gonna be really really hard to do so I would love to know what's on your guys' wish list or like give me your thoughts on what's on my wish list and help me whittle it down because I am feeling extremely overwhelmed with the amount of polishes I have and um, like amount of new polish I have that I haven't tried and I don't feel like hobbies should be stressful and I feel like this is giving me stress. And so I feel like if I slow down the buying, that's definitely going to help. But it's hard to do when there's so many pretty things and they're limited edition. Like limited edition, limited edition just sucks. It's cool, but it sucks. Um, So let me know what's on your all's wish list too because I like to go and see like if it's not something that's caught my attention, what it is. If you watched last month's um, wish list, you know that there was a ton of stuff on it and I didn't get everything on it and then I ended up picking up polishes that other people suggested to me in the comments and something that my sister sent to me that I had looked at but then when I looked again I was like oh I really do love this so I like to do that too because like this polish pickup time is very overwhelming there's lots of swatches and pictures especially if you're on the Facebook page like they really give you those um they really, really give you those swatch pictures and like it's easy for things to get lost. So I love to see what you guys are looking at just to make sure that I'm getting like the full picture of everything that's out there. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to click the like button down below if you did. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I hope you all are having an amazing evening and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.